Hello guys, my name is Navdeep and welcome to my YouTube channel Developers Corner. Today we will learn how to connect with database. I am going to use MongoDB and let's start. So response oh sorry response to sin server side okay now start our server our okay our server is running and now let's connect with db connect js const db connect is equal to async dot connect and here we have to pass the local string so I need to okay sorry what I'm doing okay I'm going to use my local DB Okay, one more. Yeah, now my MongoDB is connected. So pass this string from here, and my database name is DCTIC. Okay, I will put it in const try. Or we can simply log database error log database connected successfully. Hopefully, yeah. Now module dot exports to, to DB. Oh, sorry, DB, DB connect, yeah, now come here, DB connect, and call this, yeah, our database is successfully connected, okay, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a model, user model dot js and one more thing i'm going to user ctrl dot js and routes auth routes route dot js okay everything is set Go db underscore url this and from here I will pass process dot env dot 
mongo db rl yeah our database is successfully connected so what i'm going to do is mdb i'm going to install an extension mongodb yeah this one install okay so what do you have to do is you have to type mdb gum it will create a schema for you okay we need name email mobile password one more Tick. Okay. Demo. We have login and sign up. Okay, first name, last name, email, password. We are taking first name. last name email mobile and password yeah for now it is okay and i don't need this email and mobile should be unique okay this is how you can create your schema and one more time i'm going to show you can install this mongo snippet for node.js extension so it will create your work is easy for you so now next thing what we have to do is we have to create routes so for route const express is equal to require express and then const router is equal to express dot router so router dot post slash register comma register user Okay, for now I'm leaving it blank. Okay, so now what I have to do is okay, I have created route and module dot exports router. I exported this router and then go to index.js. Then what you have to do is app dot use slash api slash user comma we need that user or we can type auth route okay const auth router is equal to require slash route slash auth route okay so pass it from here auth router and then we have auth route okay now we have to go now here we have to require model our user model okay this model so const user is equal to require
model slash user model so what you have to do is const create user is equal to request comma response okay so first of all what we have to do is you have to check if the user is already exist so that thing we can do by using email so what we have to do is const email is equal to request dot body oh sorry dot email okay if then const find user is equal to await user dot find email okay if not find user then what we have to do create a new user create a new user else user already exists okay so to create a new user const new user is equal to user dot create request dot body and response dot json new user okay otherwise response dot json Says user already exists and status we can write success false now module sports is equal to create user and then go to here so create user create user okay okay router dot post in index we have also passed this thing okay now we don't need this we have created our model controller auth route okay now everything is fine now I'm going to test my API in Postman. Mm -hmm. Skip. Okay. This is tick. Add request. register a user okay this is our post request and our url is localhost 5000 slash api slash user slash register okay and then we have to pass some data in body in which format so let's check what are the we have first name last name email mobile and password okay so let's go here first name now 
tape last name Maya email seven five three dot com we have mobile number it's eight two six four okay and then we have password it's mono one six seven six okay let's try okay could not get response okay one more thing we have to do so body parser body parser okay so what we have to do app dot use body parser okay body parser is you are content okay app dot use body parser dot code it standard false use individual json service middlewares json yeah okay so let's try once send okay still we are not getting response first name last name email mobile and password Okay, let's check what's the problem. New object filter, find one. Okay. Find one user controller. Okay, find. Email me. I think this is fine. Okay, still we are not getting response. I think await user dot find. Email. Email. Yeah, user already exists. So let's try once. Once refresh this, digitic user refresh. Okay. So we are not user dot find one. If not find user, okay, then we are creating a new user. Otherwise, we are sending response. Okay. Okay. Now let's try refresh. Yeah, our user is successfully created. Uh, wait. Okay, I am deleting this record and let's see the output. Okay, so you can check our response is coming and in also DB we are fetching the data. Okay, now if we again send the request user already exist and success is good false okay so guys that's it for this video let's meet in next video please subscribe my channel and like my videos if you like and if you have some queries then you can ask me in the comments okay and tell me if something i can do better thank you